Do you believe in God, Marius? Why are you asking me this? Over the last couple of weeks, I've gotten to know you. You've talked a lot about atheism, yet I always see you carrying a Bible. What about it? An atheist who reads the Bible religiously? The world is chaos. I need direction. I, I need guidance. So why turn to religion? It speaks a common language. It's vaguely universal. Enough. Why am I here? Why? That is always the first question, followed by how. Isn't it obvious, Marius? I'm here to kill you. And you are here to die. Hey, wizard. Wizard, huh? Well, maybe wizard's a little too grandiose. Maybe just a fool. Maybe the clown in Twelfth Night playing solitaire while the aristocrats obsess over Machiavellian chess games. <laughs> you an aristocrat playing Machiavellian chess games? Aristocrats live in a fantasy. I live in reality. What are you then? Well, the obvious answer is that that makes me a realist. But the real question is, what kind of realist am I? And to that, I answer a carnivore. You said you were going to tell me about my father. All in due time, my friend. All in due time. Well, you won't tell me about my father. Tell me about yours. What do you want to know? Last time you saw him. Yesterday. I don't understand. I haven't done anything to you. Why are you doing this? A long time ago, one of your choices influenced another human being. And his choices influenced me. And my choices have brought you here today, where sadly, you must die. I don't know what you're talking about. Tell me what to do. I swear to Christ, I'll do whatever you say. You don't believe in Christ. I believe in the message of Christ, so therefore I believe in Christ. I accept responsibility for whatever sins you think have harmed you. How do I make the wrongs right? Like I said, why followed by how? My father struggled with a lot of things that he didn't know how to handle. Three kids, a woman he thought he knew. He killed my mother and my siblings. He shot us all with a handgun, Robert. I was the only one that survived. I was four years old when it happened and I remember every minute of it. He was raging, screaming, his eyes were bloodshot. He was like a wild animal consumed by demons. He shot every one of us. For years I asked myself, why would he do such a thing? Why would a man kill his family? It consumed me. It ate away at my soul for years. Until one day, I realized that he wasn't even my real father. My real father was somebody else entirely. Somebody who tricked my mother into having an affair and I was their legitimate child. And he succumbed to his fears and it infected his darkness upon us. My real father didn't kill my family. He simply abandoned me. And I am a byproduct of his choice. I don't know what to say. You were loved, Robert. Was. And I envied you. What do you dream of? 
my mother holding me. It's interesting, Marius. Atheists fear the possibility of God almost as much as Christians fear the possibility of emptiness. Stop it! Which do you fear? The possibility of God or the possibility of emptiness? I don't know who you are. Oh, but you do. I am a part of you, Marius. I am an extension of you gone wrong, an extension neglected and consumed by hatred. Now you tell me, what do you fear? I fear death because I've ignored it for my entire life. And now I am willing to accept it. And I know that nobody knows the how or why of anything. And I don't know who you are. And I don't know what I've done to you. And I don't know what is eating you. But I do know that you're letting it eat at you is a kind of choice. So whoever you are, your predicament, I say, is yours, not mine. Look into my eyes, Father. Look deep into my eyes and tell me who I am. Oh, oh my God. God is blind. Who are you? I am the unjust, capitalizing off the unjust, capitalizing off an unjust society. You want to see what happened to our father, Robert? I guarantee it'll mean something completely different to both of us.